What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance. Um, and I have some huge news for you guys. Something I'm going to be training for. Which is a legitimate console record. And it's something that I want everybody present here to see. Um, I'm not setting the record today, but I do have a very big announcement. Yo, Garrett, what is good, buddy? Um, as you guys know, you know, a lot of people know that Guinness World Records is like, you know, like that's the main record setter. So today I went online, started looking around for, you know, just different sites and alternatives to set real, you know, world records with as good as I am with gaming. People tell me, they're like, dude, you need to submit a record. Like, you're fast enough. Like, you can do this. So I went online and found a site called Record Setter, which is you know, a site where you can set legitimate world records in gaming. And I've heard a lot of people talking shit, saying that, you know, I'm no good, that, you know, I'm not on a professional level to be, you know, a professional gamer as far as the racing scene goes. So, you know, I decided to start looking up sites. You know, you know, I decided to look up some sites, see what I can find, because, you know, Guinness Records is the biggest, but they cost like $10 to set the record, which $10 at this point is something even I don't have at this point. Hold on a sec. Sorry, there, guys, we got some fucking bugs around here that are just crazy. So, what I'm going to do is coming up in a few days, because for the next couple of days, I'm going to be training on Need for Speed Underground 2. What I'm going to do is set two records on two different games. And one, I'm going to be setting the world drag record on Need for Speed Underground 1. The world's fastest console drag strip run. And the world downhill sprint record on Palm Hill for Need for Speed Underground 2. And I'll be submitting that to recordsetter.com as an official world record to prove that yes, I am the world's best driver and one of the world's fastest. Because I'm tired of everybody talking shit. And, you know, I figured, why not put my title up for grabs? Why not prove to these people that I can do what I do better than everybody else? And that I truly am a professional racing gamer. Because, you know, I have no problem shutting people up. I've, I've shut people down before through professional drift runs. As you guys know, I am on the pro level of drifting for gaming. As well as, you know, other styles of racing. But my preferred fun style, definitely drifting. I have, I love getting sideways, man. It's fun. It's something I've always enjoyed doing. But I will be going through recordsetter.com. If you guys don't believe that it's legitimate, go check them out. I just found them today. You know, I really looked into them, and, you know, people set records on there all the time, and this will be a brand new one for this year. So if I do set this record, and I do break these, and, you know, and I can show people that, you know, that this is legitimate, because I'll be filming it on console. I'll be doing it professionally on a on my Nintendo Wii because as you guys know, I can do both Wii games and you know GameCube games. 
So I'll be doing it professionally on GameCube on the Nintendo Wii for those two games. And I may even try to set a record for Pro Street. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I have not looked really into the Pro Street League yet. But, you know, I'm tired of people saying they're saying, you know, oh, like, you know, your records are, you know, fake because they're not on PC. They're not modded. Well, you know what? Here's what I have to say to all the modders out there. Something that, you know, a lot of people don't understand. That for me, since I can't, you know, drive because of my height, you know, since I can't race professionally, even though a lot of companies want me to, as much as I wish I could, I can't do to, you know, obviously my height and the fact that I don't have a license in a car, I do the next best thing, which is doing it in gaming. And a lot of people don't realize that that takes just as much skill, just as much technique to do it in game as it does in real life. Because I've been training since I was 16 on Underground 2 up to this point. And people sit there and say, oh, well, you can study the game all you want. You know, you're still not that fast. Well, you know what? All you modders out there don't know what it really takes. I put in the time and effort every damn day. You know, I sit there and I tune every car. I practice. I push myself till my fucking hands literally are sore. Like, I will literally sit there, and even when my hands are sore, I still push myself to the limit and beyond that. And you want to know something? My buddy Ian, a.k.a. E.S. Tommy, proved that he is a true champion just like me. He set the world downhill drift record on Need for Speed Carbon with no mods. Because he does not believe in modding. Like, unless it's for, like, you know, a legitimate reason. Like, um, God, what's that game? R-Factor. If you guys have ever played R-Factor, there is a drift mod. And that's what he does. He uses the drift mod. But he trains just like anybody else. Just like I train. Just like, you know, you know, our fellow teammate and my second brother, Ricardo trains. Like, you know, you know, we, people like us, we work our asses off. And a lot of people think that, oh, you know, a gaming record isn't really a record, you know, you guys need to stop wasting your time, da da da. Well, take a look at a lot of, a lot of people out there that make a living doing gaming. Even at my age, at 27, there's a lot of people out there that do you know, YouTube and set records through games and that's how they really get their start. And, you know, and for me, that's what I'm hoping to do is to not only set and hold the official world record for Need for Speed Underground and Underground 2, but to also shoot my YouTube channel way out there that to where I can make a living doing what I do best, which is racing, as amongst other games too. Well, I don't get wrong. Like, I'll still do other games like the new Tokyo Ghoul game that they just released and stuff like that. But my main style of gaming is racing. Like, that's the one thing I excel at more than anybody. Like, you get me behind any car, you show me the controls, and I'm there. Like, I am off that starting line, and I am down that road. And I am there getting sideways and doing whatever I got to do to make it. But um, I'm not sure exactly when I'll be setting the record, but I do know for the next few days I will be training on both Underground and Underground 2 quite a bit. Um, you know, so I may do live streams of, you know, me training and stuff like that. You know, just kind of getting the feel, you know, getting back into that. Um, I may try to set some most wanted records as well as some carbon. I don't know. I haven't decided all of what games I want to set the records for. But I do know for a fact that I am doing Underground and Underground 2. Because I'm tired of people sitting there saying that I'm a fake, that I haven't earned the title. Well, you know what? All you modders out there haven't earned the title. 
All you do is fucking mod games and act like you're the best. When the true ones that are the best, the ones that are truly the best, are those like myself who train every day and night. Who push ourselves to the limit. There are days where I'll be dead dog tired. I don't feel like doing it. Like I don't really feel like doing anything. But I still get up. I get on that controller. I get behind the wheel of that car and I push myself. Because I know that if I don't, how am I going to be the best? How am I going to be the world's best if I don't push myself every second of every day? There's a reason why I earned the nickname Takumi Fujiwara. If you guys don't know the name, it's from the anime series Initial D. Great anime. If you haven't seen it, look it up. Awesome shit. But the reason why I was nicknamed Takumi Fujiwara is because he's the fastest driver for that anime series. I train myself every day just like he trains himself and pushes himself. Like, and there's a lot of people that can prove it. I've set the record on YouTube for the downhill sprint once already on Palm Hill. So I figured, why not train, do it again, and really set the record. You know, just really set the bar high. I mean, I know eventually the record might get broken. But it's very, very unlikely that that'll happen anytime soon once I set the record. Uh, if you guys want to know, it's the site name is www. Oh, it's you already know it's um, https. Uh, you know the stuff that you do, and then recordsetter.com. Oh, I plan to, dude. I will be doing most wanted as well. Like I said, um, first I am going to be doing underground and underground two. And then I might move on to Most Wanted and Carbon and all that. Like I said, dude, once I set this record and I put these guys in their place, Devin, I will definitely take that challenge. I do accept the challenge, man. So let me get these guys knocked out first. And then I am definitely on for that challenge, man. Because I've seen how you drive, man. You're pretty damn good. Like, not going to lie. Like, you are fast as fuck. And if you guys want to know, man, Devin is like me, dude. Like, he's one of the few people that can actually keep up with me and give me a good run. The man's got a lead foot just like I do. Like, straight up. The man has a lead fucking foot. So, shout out to you, Devin. But like I said, guys, I am going to try to set the record for these two games before moving on to Devin's Challenge and all these other ones. Because I've still got people to this day saying that, you know, I rigged it, that I did this, that I did that. Well, here's my thing. How are you going to rig a Nintendo GameCube game? Like, how are you going to rig that? There's just no way you can rig a game. Like, it's virtually impossible. Like, unless you have some kind of specialized super program that allows you to add cars into the game that really shouldn't be in the game, there's no way you can do it. Right, exactly, dude. It has been a while, Devin. And like I said, man, you're one of the very few, aside from Ethan and Ricardo, and even my buddy Mark, who can actually give me a good run for my money. That's why you're one of the world's fastest like myself, man. I've seen you drive. you got skill, dude. Like, not going to lie, dude. You're right up there with me. You're one of the very few who can actually give me a good run. But like I said, guys, I will be setting the world drag record for Underground 1 and the world sprint record on Underground 2. And I may do different tracks. I don't know. I'll have to look up the records and see like what ones I want to go for. But I will be going for the world drag record on Underground 1. As well as I might even do a drag record on Underground 2. I haven't decided yet. 
But just know for these next couple of days, I will be training my ass off on both games. Um, actually, as soon as I hop off here, I am going to be training and getting set up for that. Um, as I said, I may, you know, record live streams of, you know, my runs, my practice runs on here. So you guys can see just how I train every day on this game. So you guys can get a good idea of, you know, how I push myself every day, you know, not just as a gamer, but as a driver for one of the biggest games in the world. And a lot of people are telling me, dude, like, you need to get an Xbox, a PlayStation, da 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 you know, so I can race on that professional level with everybody else, like Slap Train, you know, and Black Panther and all them, and I want to. But I don't have the money, but hopefully setting this record will help me get that much further to be able to do that. But anyways, guys, this has been your boy Chance, a.k.a. Retro Gamer. You guys played Shadow Blade, Dark Blade. You already know all the names. I ain't got to say them all. You already know. But uh, I will see you guys later, man. I got to hop off here, get down to work, get the training, and I will see you all later on. Peace.